everyone, I'm Abby, event coordinator at Legacy Events, and today I have with me Sarah Ostrander from The Centennial, a local restaurant here in Jefferson, Iowa, that has contemporary taste which meets historic charm. Sarah, thanks so much for coming here Hi, today. thanks for having me. We are so excited because the holiday season is right around the corner and we have asked Sarah to kind of step out of the restaurant realm for a moment this morning and give us a little bit of kind of insight on maybe a really awesome appetizer that you can make for the holidays. So we're so excited to have you here, Sarah. Um, tell us a little bit about how long have you been in the, the chef, restaurant, food business? Feels like my whole life. Um, <laughs> no, I graduated from Jefferson Scranton in 2002 and did all of the programs there at the Ram Restaurant and then went to culinary school and kind of moved away and then came back a few years ago to open up the Centennial, which has been really great and a lot of fun. And I'm excited to kind of show you guys a little fun holiday appetizer today. Yes, well, we are so excited as well. So Sarah, you have brought with you some ingredients um, and kind of giving us a little bit of behind the scenes on making a wonderful appetizer. Tell us, what are you going to make for us today? We're gonna to make some little puff pastry tartlets, okay. which uh, I hope it doesn't scare people, but this is one of those recipes where you can literally do about anything. And so okay. you can play around with some flavors and colors and textures. Um, the main thing that we're always gonna start off with is some frozen puff pastry dough. And this you can find in the frozen section at pretty much any grocery store. Okay. So I think most of them come in little sheets like this. I think Pepperidge Farm comes with maybe six in a package. And we're gonna cut this one into quarters. So we got this little baby one. <laughs> little baby square. And we're gonna put it into a little muffin, mini muffin pan that's okay. been greased already. Okay. And we're just gonna take it and we're gonna tuck these in here just like this and press them down. So these, when they come frozen, you gotta let them sit out for just a little bit to make sure that they're nice and thawed and then you can cut them into quarters. So the big element to these, besides the puff pastry, is you wanna have some sort of cheese and some sort of little sweet element. I've got some apricot preserves and I have some cranberry sauce. I've got some Havarti cheese. I've used boars and cheese. We have some bacon crumbles. We've got pecans. The sky is the limit, so don't be scared. <laughs> We're going to put some of this Havarti cheese in here in the bottom. And then let's see for this one. We're going to do a little bit of the cranberry sauce. So this is just another way to incorporate a little cranberry flavor into your Thanksgiving. Then we're going to top it with a little bit more cheese and some toasted pecans that are um, just chopped up. And this one, let's put a little bit of the apricot preserves. Tuck it on in there. And then we're gonna throw a little bit of bacon. A little sweet, salty combo is kind of my favorite. And then we'll also top this one with a little bit more cheese. So, like I said, the sky's the limit. We can use, um, boars and cheese is one of my favorites. If you like to do caramelized onions, you can put those in there. Some chopped up uh, sauteed mushrooms would be really great. For the kids, if they wanted like ham and cheese, that's a really good option and the kids can help make these too. So if you wanna keep them busy for a morning, this would be a good little project if you show them a few. And then, so we're just gonna fill them up and we'll do a little bit of boars in this one. You can put some bacon in there. And I've also used fresh pears. You can use apples. You can do a variety of cheese if you like blue cheese. Um, can just get creative so a pack of if it has a six pack and you cut them into quarters that will give you two dozen when you're all done you don't have to use a mini pan if you don't have one you can use a regular muffin tin they're just going to be a little bit more spread out no big deal and they won't take quite as long in the oven so we're going to bake these at 375 i like to start at 12 minutes and then kind of turn the pan around and set it for another eight minutes so about 20 minutes total and then when they come out of the oven and they're all puffed up, but they look so cute. You don't have to stay warm. They're better when they're warm, but they don't have to stay warm. You can set them out on a little um, appetizer table. And then just drizzle with a little bit of honey. Perfect, a little sweet, salty, and you can get creative and make it your own. 
Sarah, these look absolutely amazing. Thank and you. I love how you incorporated that. This is something that the kids can do. Absolutely. You know, if you're looking for an activity, um, Thanksgiving or Christmas morning, you know, or any holiday you're having, party. Yes, anytime you're having um, kids over, it's always fun to incorporate them into the day. And they just love that too. So this is a great, great kid activity yep. um, that results in a wonderful <laughs> appetizer um, that will keep everyone kind of munching until you, the main meal and you can't mess these up you you really can't there's no you can't go wrong so yes and you said you can add all different kinds of flavor elements um yeah. and texture elements into that too so i so yeah fun. yeah love that for more tips and inspirations for your future celebrations be sure to follow us and subscribe